Hello, my name is Mark Poskett. Today I will be presenting to you on behalf of my fellow SCARP Studio team members, Edsel Sanchez and Mark McNaughton. The topic of this presentation is disrupting displacement, exploring innovative models for tenant relocation, which provides a brief glimpse into the project we've been working on with our community partner, Metro Vancouver, over the past six months. I want to interrupt your thoughts for a moment and ask that you use your imagination. Instead of the house you currently reside in, I want you to imagine that you live in this apartment building. In the east side of the city, it is near transit and enables you to access both the downtown and your place of work relatively easily. You have lived here for five years perhaps and have grown attached to the neighborhood. A short walk down the road is your favorite park. We have spent many an evening with friends during the summer months. Your children, if you have any, may go to school at the elementary school down the road. And there is a community centre nearby that you use infrequently, but appreciate nonetheless. Now, imagine arriving home one evening to find a notice on your door. Your apartment building is being sold and is intended for redevelopment. You're being evicted in four months' time. Unfortunately, stories like this are increasingly common in our region. A lack of rental construction over the past 40 years has led to a dwindling rental stock that is ripe for redevelopment. Pair this with the existing growth pressures in Metro Vancouver, and you have an unaffordable rental market with high rents and a low vacancy rate. Current government approaches towards tenant relocation have focused on providing financial support or additional protection for tenants during this time. An assumption underlying many of these existing policies, however, is that existing rental units will be available nearby to relocate displaced tenants. Because of the tight rental market and low vacancy rates, however, this is often not the case. One possible alternative to this approach that hasn't really been tried could be to retrofit existing buildings, such as unused commercial or industrial space, and turn these into rental units that could be used to rehouse displaced tenants. However, because of the costs and the lack of ex existing industrial and commercial space, this option is unlikely to be suitable in Metro Vancouver. Another alternative is to use modular housing to rehouse tenants. This has been identified by our partner as an option with high potential and as such is the focus of our project. Our specific project goal is to comprehensively explore and assess different types of temporary housing interventions that may be implemented to provide housing for displaced tenants. So what are some of the modular housing interventions we have explored? Well, the first is to use modular housing on a large redevelopment site to rehouse tenants. In this scenario, the modular building will be constructed prior to the demolition of their current homes, meaning that tenants are only required to move their belongings once and are able to stay at their current site address. The benefits of modular for this, as opposed to conventional construction methods, are that it can be built faster and has the potential to be deconstructed and move elsewhere at a later date. Another option is to provide a modular building on a neighborhood swing site. In this situation, a designated site within a neighborhood will serve as a temporary home for displaced tenants. Once the old homes have been redeveloped, tenants will move back into these. Whilst tenants will have to leave their existing site address, they will still be able to stay in their neighborhoods. Although there are a number of challenges that must be overcome if either of these solutions are to be implemented, they both offer improvements to the current tenant relocation process. They offer a secured, high-quality new home. They offer the same rents as before. They reduce the stress and uncertainty for tenants during relocation. They mitigate displacement, and they retain the social fabric of neighborhoods and communities. Thank you for listening.